the 142nd Alabama, and it was a bit of a bobble there at the start for the favorite Nest, who is sitting in mid-pack right now. Here is She's Keen going out for the early lead with Jerry Manda racing in second, and now Nest moving up on the outside in third. Got us a fire, is down at the rail and in fourth. And then comes a scratch cap as the field goes into the clubhouse turn. On the outside there is Secret Oath, and the trailer is Nostalgic, who races in seventh. The leader here is She's Keen in front by a length. Nest now takes second. Jerry Mander down at the rail, runs in third. Got us a fire, is in fourth. And the quarter one in 24 and one-fifth seconds as they move for the backstretch. She's Keen, the leader here by a length. Nest tracking in second. And Jerry Mander not far behind in third. And then comes Goddess of Fire, who has moved off the rail, is on the outside and in fourth. Two lengths to Secret Oath, who sits in fifth. She's followed by Scratch Cat down at the rail, and the trailer is still nostalgic. Midway up the back stretch, the opening half mile in 49 and 2. Big long shot. She's Keen is the leader here by a length. The heavy favorite, Nest, runs in second. Jerry Mander down at the rail. On the outside is Goddess of Fire. Now Secret Oath makes her move in between horses and is getting closer. At the back of the pack, Nostalgic and Scratch Cat. Three quarters went in 114 and 1. It is still She's Keen, but here is Nest now moving right alongside. Nest makes her move to the front as they race around the far turn. It is Nest who has taken over the lead now. Secret Oath now moves into second. She's Keen is dropped out of it. Jerry Mander is next. Goddess of Fire is on the extreme outside, and the field is in the stretch, and it is Nest who has asked for more, and she is responding here. Nest has a four-length lead. Secret Oath in second. Here is Nest, and she is pouring it on here in the stretch. She is at the top of her class. Nest wins the Alabama by five lengths. Secret Oath was second. Goddess of Fire finished third. Nest and a Rod Ortiz Jr. A jubilant Mike Rapoli, who's won this race before with Todd Pletcher. Great friends that go way back. What a moment in this Philly may very, maybe it is no argument. Male or female, she may be the best three-year-old in the country. That was dominant once again. Look, um, I'm, I'm anxious to see. I mean, they just crossed the finish line, but she loved this mile and a quarter distance. What's Todd Pletcher, Mike Rapoli, and Eclipse Thurbeds going to do with their necks? That was like, wow. She, she sprinted from the eighth pole home. That was that was very very impressive and the race setup was interesting too. They weren't going fast for Ness to be in that kind of position against a long shot pace setter in she's keen was interesting. Uh, maybe it was instructions but for gerrymander I mean the rider was actually fighting that horse early and going that slow that was the advantage that gerrymander could have had over Ness but nobody's being Ness today. So if you wouldn't mind asking me that question again Wolfie is she in the right race. I'm ready to answer it now <laughs> you know. I think she should have waited a week. I really do. <laughs> uh, you might be right. She might have been equally impressive in the run happy Travers. Let's go to Maggie. Here with Arad Ortiz, and neither of you are blown too hard, Arad. Talk us through this trip, though. She bobbled a little bit at the start again, but quickly recovered and found yourself in a, an ideal type of scenario. She recovered so quick. Uh, she put me right there. Uh, going to the first turn, I was comfortable in the clear second. I just go with the flow of the race, and she do the race, honestly. She exploded once again. How good has she gotten in the latter half of this three-year-old season? She's doing great. She's improving every time she runs, and I think the distance, she loves the distance, honestly. I read it. You weren't on her for the Belmont, but you're back aboard. You've ridden uh, some of the better three-year-old boys. How does she stack up against her male counterparts? I mean, she's... <laughs> I mean, we, we have a lot of respect to all the other fillies here and to Epicenter, all those kind of horses. They are nice horses, you know. And I mean, her, her division, we can say right now she's one of the best. Uh, I know she have a clear trip, and I just enjoy turn against the same company, and, and as long as she can do it, I would love to. And, I go with whatever the trainer and the owner decide to do, honestly. Wherever Ness goes, you will follow Arad. Congratulations yet again. Thank you very much, Maggie. Another Alabama win for Arad Ortiz Jr. This one aboard Nest, and she has just been jaw-dropping in her two performances here at the spa, Greg. 
Yes, she has, and she may have just sealed a divisional championship with this performance as well. Todd Pletcher, by the way, running third in this race with a 22 to one shot, goddess of fire. But this story is all about Nest, guys. Yeah, this division has been wrapped up and wrapped up the right way. Nest is a is really kind of a budding superstar at this point. She's been sensational. Todd has done a great job with her. She's improving with every start. And there's some very good older fillies and mares out there, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to handle Nest in the Breeders' Cup distaff. No, she's she's forward. Um, the distance obviously is gonna be a problem for her at all. She'll run a mile huh. and a half. Um, and she seems to be improving, but that's what that's what we get with Todd Pletcher. We're not surprised by that when he has a good horse He usually keeps him good and he they continue to improve just like Vino Rosso He wasn't much in the early part of his three-year-old year. Then he turned out to be a Breeders' Cup Classic champion Yeah, no, this is her third grade one this year and actually secret oath. I think she ran fine today I think she Wayne got her back to running her better race she just hasn't moved forward in any way, and Nest is in a different league. My pick, gerrymander, obviously not going to win the race. I'm not sure, though, what Flavian Pratt was, was thinking, not being more aggressive with her, but obviously she was never beating Nest. Nest is too good for this group, and I wonder, you know, down the line, do they think at some point now about tackling the boys? I... I know what Irad, or, or Jose, was getting at uh, just now. We're watching the start here. She's going to stumble. stumble a little bit. Right there you see in the yellow saddle towel, Ness stumble. But athletic horses can stumble, recover so quickly, it's a non-event. To me, that's a non-event. Yeah, that was nothing like she did in the Belmont. But um, listening, to, listening to what... I read said after the race he said I'll do whatever the owners and the trainers say I'm thinking this Philly you got to shorten her up for the disc staff see what flight line does in the Pacific Classic you stay at the mile and a quarter and she's got a chance of being horse of the year because she just wrapped up her division as far as I'm concerned the three-year-old Philly division Yeah, I think most would agree with that statement what a and not just the fact she wins back-to-back -back grade ones the margin of victory, how easily she did it as well against the Kentucky Oaks winner. I think you also got to talk a little bit about how much she has improved from May to mid-August. She has improved dramatically since then. That's what horses do. A, a full-grown horse is going to be into his four-year-old four year. So a three-year-old filly this time of year would be the equivalent of a college athlete in, in human terms. Not full-grown yet, but she's made that transition from May, senior in high school, to being a college athlete and she has gotten very very good did we just see the best performance of the meet so there have been some really good ones we we all know that and i'm racking my head i gotta believe yes the this Travers is the best we've seen the second best one might have been her cca yeah, it might have been we got the travers next week we'll see oh we'll wait and see winner circle leading it's brought to you by the phasic tipped in november sale the world's premier breeding stock event to be held on november 6th after the breeders cup nominate your star today star performance here no question about it nest likely wrapping up a championship with this performance in the three-year-old philly division much too good for the rest of these three-year-old phillies she's now six for nine in her career back-to-back -back grade one wins mike rapoli and family they know how to celebrate and he usually has a pretty crowded winner's circle we'll be back with more in the alabama right after this